Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at a practical example of import maps being used. Now, I did a previous video on import maps. Um, might be worth checking that out if you haven't seen that before. I'll put a link to that here. Um, so it's, you know, it's live in Chrome now, import maps. At the time of that video it wasn't, uh, but yeah, they're in there now. And I'm looking at JSPM here, and this is uh, an implementation of importing modules that uses import maps we've a lot uh, there's a lot of things out there at the moment about unbundled development and again we've looked at that with things like snowpack so this takes a little bit of a different uh, approach to that you know with snowpack the modules on the CDN are pre-compiled um, to be native ES modules with this approach, they're still um, they're still npm packages. They've not been compiled in any way, and the import maps are what allows us to use them um, as bare specifiers within the browser. So I'm going to jump in and, and have a look. If you find yourself enjoying the video, though, feel free to click that subscribe button below and change the alert icon to all, and you get updates for future videos. Okay, let's let's have a look. So. As an example here, then we'll use lit element. We'll try and pull it in um, using a bare specifier. See that that fails, and then use the import maps to allow us to do this. Um, so we've no npm install again here. All right, so let's create a quick a quick um, element. I might speed this bit up just because it's not totally relevant. All right, so we've created a basic element here. Uh, one thing to note is I'm importing using the package name rather than saying lit element, which I might previously do. We still can't we can't do that. We need to give the actual package name like so. Uh, so that's one thing to note for this. Um, but that uh, we could then look to import in here. So if we pull that script in. Uh, was it my element and say that this is a type module and then we would hopefully be able to use that element in here so we're using um, a relative path here because this is a native module and then in here we're not specified we got a bare specifier here so normally you would need npm and a bundler to go and find that package but we're going to use um, we're going to use the import maps to provide that for us. Now, the, the problem you have is, yeah, you could provide an import map to this one, but then this one's got dependencies again, and you don't know which ones they are. So without um, some help, import maps are very tricky to use. So that's where JSPM comes to our rescue. Um, and we can go to the JSPM generator here um, and the online generator. And you can see I've typed in lit element here and it's given us an import map. And so all of the sub dependencies are mapped out here as well now. Um, so I can I can copy this uh, and this is all coming from their CDN as well. You, I guess you could do this locally, but we're just going to use it from the CDN. Um, so on my uh, index HTML, I'm thinking I can paste this in. Make it a little smaller so we can see a bit more of it. Um, so now we've got this import map. Now, I think only Chrome at the moment supports them. So there is a shim here uh, for other browsers. Uh, I think you would wait until all the browsers are, um, have landed this before using it. So we just take that out because we're in Chrome. We know it, we know it works. Um, but there's our import map. Um, and all the dependencies. Um, so if I now try and open this up and look at the errors, our uh, custom element, so just a standard error, uh, custom elements, and then I come back in here. And okay, so now it is appearing here. Uh, and we haven't had to do an npm install. 
um, we haven't had to specify any relative paths. Um, you know, in a browser, you need to have something like this here normally. It can't go and resolve that dependency, but it can use an impart map to go and resolve that dependency. So this again is another example of of unbundled development. You know, you wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily run it like this in production. You'd want to bundle it at that point. But for fast uh, local development, this is another approach similar to Snowpack, but using import maps instead. Uh, there you go, just a quick overview of JSPM and import maps, something that's coming. Um, lots more to happen in this area, I guess, as we go forward. It's still very early, early days. Uh, all right, thanks very much, Shane. Uh, catch you next time. Bye.